festive makeup look. This one is a little bit a little bit more natural, apart from the red lip, obviously. When I say natural, I don't mean like it's going to look like I've got no makeup on, because obviously it doesn't. Um, what I mean is it's more like a daytime glam look rather than like a full-on. The last one I did was pretty out there with the dark lip, and it had quite a lot of going on in the eyes, and the lashes were really big. So this is a lot more natural on the eyes. I would say this is more something you could wear on like Thanksgiving Day or Christmas Day. Um, say meeting the family for the first time, like your boyfriend's family for the first time. I think this is a pretty nice look. I wanted the skin to be really, really glowy. So it kind of looked quite fresh faced and quite pretty. You could totally wear a nude lip instead if you feel a red lip is a bit too bold for you, especially if you're meeting the family for the first time. Um, but I think it's just super festive. It's Christmas. Christmas is red lip. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so starting off with bare face as always, and as always priming with my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I'm yet to find one I prefer to this one, it really does smooth out and fill in any sort of large pores that you have. So I kind of just pat and rub that onto my face. I'm then going to go in with this product, this is MAC, this is called Hush, it's a cream highlighter. And I'm using this to apply under my foundation on all the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, I'm also putting this on my eyelids, down the bridge of my nose and a tiny bit just above my eyebrows. Um, doing this first under your foundation really gives you that kind of glow from within kind of look to your face and really does enhance just the overall freshness of your face. I really love doing this technique. I use lots of different highlighters underneath foundation but I particularly do love this one and because I wanted to use this on the eyes anyway I thought this would be the perfect thing. So then going in with foundation I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Um, I'm in the shade Y415 in the new one, or in the old one it was N128. Um, I don't really know why they call it an N, because to me this isn't really neutral, it's got quite a strong yellowness to it. Um, but I just use my Beauty Blender to just bounce that all over my face, and as you can see I work it in all the areas we haven't applied the highlight first, and then I go over the highlighted areas with whatever's left on my Beauty Blender. So that bit does get a slightly lighter coverage, if that makes sense. You can kind of see like it's still glowing in those areas. I'm then going to be going in with concealer and for concealer I'm using the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. Um, this one is in the shade Medium Beige um, and I'm just using a Real Techniques, this is like a, I think it's like a dome shadow brush or something to apply that in sort of little circular motions. I don't usually do my concealer like this, but I feel like with this concealer this works really well rather than applying like a hefty amount and then blending it out. So I just work in with a brush and then go back in with my beauty blender just to make sure everything's seamlessly blended and smoothed out. And then I will also be setting this with my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder as well just to make sure that under area is super bright. And then to sort of contour and just bronze out the face, I'm using my YSL, this is the Healthy Glow Balm. It is a cream product in the pan, but then it goes to a powder once you've blended it on your face. It's amazing, you've seen me use this before and I really, really like it. I'm using that on this Sigma brush, which is the perfect for a cream product. I can't remember what it's called, I'll list it down below, but it's really, really good for cream contour. Like, look how amazing that went on. I don't know what it is about it, just something about it makes it work really well, and look how easy that was to do. Like, seriously? Yes! <laughs> Here I'm just showing you like how you can still see that highlight, like it's not like highlight but it's like highlight if that makes sense, I don't know how to explain it, it just kind of glows. I'm now going to be going over that highlight with, this is a Kiko, um, I don't really use much of their stuff, this is like a radiant touch stick, it's like a cream highlighter in a stick form, it's pretty similar to the Benefit What's Up 
highlighter, I think that's what it's called. Um, so I just apply that and then just blend it out a tiny bit and you can see it just enhances that glow. And then to set it, because that is a cream product, I'm just going over it with the Becca Champagne Pop just to make sure it's set and doesn't start like moving or anything. Um, I'm then applying some blush. This is also by Becca Cosmetics and this is called Flower Child, I think. It's a really, really pretty pink blush with a tiny bit of shimmer in it as well. Oh, my voice is going. Ah! Setting it with MAC Fix Plus. As always, you guys know, that is my stuff. So then that is the skin done. Moving on to the brows, I'm using, at the moment, this is my current favourite because it's just so quick and easy to do. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. Right, and then moving back on now to the eyes, I'm just applying a tiny bit more of that Hush by MAC that we used in the beginning, just so I've got a tacky base, because I'm then going to be applying the Becca Champagne Pops, the same highlighter we used. I'm just going to be applying this all over the eyelid. I love using highlighters as eyeshadows. They are just the most beautiful shimmery colours for your eyes. So I literally just apply this all over using a synthetic um, concealer brush just to pack on the colour and my eyes do look red in this video I get quite a lot of people commenting saying why are your eyes so red and it's just because I wear contacts now which I didn't used to do and I'm just struggling to find contacts that work for me a lot of them just seem to make my eyes really red maybe my eyes are just not designed for contacts but I'm just experimenting to try and find out if I can wear them because without them I'm pretty damn blind so that's that little story Going in now with a Sigma Fluffy brush, I'm just going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and taking the shade Dusty Rose just to work this through that upper crease area just to give us a bit of definition into the eyes. And then I will be going in with a darker shade which is Aubergine in this exact same palette. This is more of a, like a dark plum, I'd say, like a plummy burgundy, like dark, dark purple shade. And I'm using this on the brush that this palette came with. The Anastasia palettes come with really good brushes. And I'm just working this into the outer corner of the eye just to give it a little bit of something, something going on over there. Just so it gives you some definition and just a bit of interest. Because if you just left it like that, it's a bit bland. Um, so I just apply that with that brush and then go back into my fluffy just to blend out the edges. And I really want the transition between this and the lid shade to be really seamless, like almost like an ombre effect, which you'll see when I'm finished blending. It just like kind of just softly, really softly blends into it. So I'm just going to work that into both eyes. Okay, so for mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You could totally just wear mascara and not wear lashes, but I am going to apply some lashes today. But I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Giselle lashes because they're super, super natural. Um, but you could just leave it like that or go for these. I really like these because they're really super natural and wispy. Um, now moving on to the lips, I'm using Gerald Cosmetics. This is Immortal. This is probably my favourite ever red liquid lipstick I've ever found. It is just such a nice colour red and perfect for the Christmas time. That will then complete the look. I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving for everyone in America. And if you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Tashi Tinks. <laughs> Okay, so this is the finished makeup look, guys. I really hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me any requests down below. This one was actually requested. Somebody did comment on my last video saying they would like a sort of more meet the parents um, daytime Christmas Thanksgiving daytime look, which this is what it is from me. You could totally pair it with a nude lip to make it like a little bit more natural. But I think the eyes is really, really pretty. And I think if you're meeting the parents for the first time, you want to be like sweet and pretty, not too like, Hey, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I think this is like really just put together, pretty, Christmassy, festive. Um, so yeah, I think this is a perfect look. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>